Welcome back to my channel. I have a skincare video for you today and I'll be showing you what I do in the morning. So I washed my face with uh, Late Evie. I'm almost done with that so I'm probably going to repurchase the Late VIPO2. And I'm just going in with Lotion P50W. I um, have uh, three of these small 1.7 ounces um, so that I could try um, the P50V uh, P50W and then P50V 1970 formulas and then from there I would um, purchase a larger size and I think I'm gonna be buying the um, P50V so I'm just gonna so I'm just trying to use the rest up but I'm gonna use the Shiseido cotton pad and I'm probably not gonna apply this perfectly um, on an everyday basis I just like swipe um, but they do recommend that you lift your face and you tap, um, but honestly my skin is used to um, the swiping, so. I think they say not to swipe because it's harsh for your skin. And then my lips too. And then I like to just press it around my nose area for a little longer um, to hopefully like take care of any of those blackheads in that area. Um, and then I guess you can sculpt, but I don't really have the dexterity to do that. And I like to get by my ears because uh, when I had cystic acne, that's where it would happen. It would happen like only around my jaw and ear area. So I like to press it in this area too. Anywhere where you're prone to like acne clogged pores, I would press it a little harder. I also bring it on my neck because sometimes I can get clogged pores here too. And then the lines, I always go over my neck and the back of my neck as well and then let me just so now I'm gonna go in with a serum I have uh, many serums at this point and I'll be using two serums in the morning but I'm gonna be mixing one in with my moisturizer but lately instead of mixing a few serums quintessential serums at a time I'll just use one and I'll just see how my skin is feeling that day and I'll go in with a targeted serum. So today I'm gonna to be going in with Collagen Natif, um, and this is a firming serum, and it also, it's recommended for dry or dehydrated skins. I wouldn't recommend it for oily skin. It's got a very thick texture, um, and although it absorbs really quickly, it's very sticky and I don't think that people with oily skin would love the texture. So if I weren't going to use this this morning, I would probably alternate between like a legal protein marine um, or elastin pure. Um, I also have amniotique E, which I've been just using at night. Um, I don't feel like my skin needs much moisture in this kind of uh, temperature it's very humid outside lately but I've been just trying to use them up um, and I'll probably do a video comparing my thoughts between amniotic E, extra tissue layer, and colostrum because at, at this point I've used them all but today we'll go in with collagen natif this is supposed to like firm your skin but it's also supposed to like tighten your pores and do a bunch of stuff I feel that it does slightly tighten my pores at the moment. It doesn't It doesn't last a longer time. Dermal Pore is also another serum that is solely meant to do that. And I find um, that Dermal Pore is really good for when um, I've got some clogged pores um, and not necessarily around my nose area. Like if I've got like clogged pores in my cheek area, it helps to uh, like exfoliate I guess I don't know um, the action of it but I find that that helps however whenever I do use that my skin feels very tight very dry um, so for me that is better mixed in with other serums but if you've got like dry skin 
but you've got like big pores this might be a good option the only other thing though is it's called a firming serum I don't really see a f like I feel the firming action because it's so it's so like you know tightening but here I don't think you're gonna be able to see it but I just put three drops on my hand and it smooths out nicely it's a thicker serum I think it might be the thickest in the quintessential range I'm gonna just put a, another drop on the bottom by where my jowls are So there we go. Um, I'm I'm a little iffy on this serum because I like the texture of it. It's pretty thick. It's easy to move around the face, um, and I personally like a thicker texture serum. But I also love the watery serums because they all are watery. This is the thickest of them all, and it feels nice. Um, I wouldn't say it's very hydrating, like. It's thick, but it completely like soaks into your skin. So you're not gonna have an issue of like feeling like there's a ton of moisture on your skin. Um, but it's supposed to like plump your skin up. And I guess I do feel like that. Um, I feel like my, after putting that on, my face feels just like awake. I was feeling a little like dehydrated, tight um, after the shower because I didn't put my stuff on right away. And this has made it feel nice. Um, an added bonus is that it supposed to, supposedly does tighten pores, but I'm going to look in the mirror really quickly. But again, my I don't necessarily have like big pores to begin with. Um, when I notice that they're starting to show, I'll do a mask or I'll press the P50 in a little longer to my skin. Um, or I'll uh, squeeze my blackheads out, and that takes care of the pores for me normally. Um, but this, it, it it has been a nice additive, but I don't think it's necessary. Um, and if you're looking for a firming face serum, that's your specific concern that you need addressing, then I would do the splenodermine or something, or VG Tinsel. I would do one of those, because those are specifically like, for firming and they do firm and I, I think splenodermine is probably my favorite but if you've got like just general anti-aging issues um, you've got like slightly bigger pores but not too bad and you need a little plumping this is a good serum for that this would be perfect for you but if you've got like oily skin or really really um, like dilated pores and clogged pores and all that kind of stuff I would go for dermapore um, but it does dry me out so just beware but if you're oily you probably don't even care about that so that's my verdict on this will I repurchase this um, you know at this point I'm gonna say no but I said that about illegal protein marine and MC 110 and I repurchased the Oligo Protein Marine and now I love that one and I feel like the Oligo Protein Marine Because it like it does a good job at brightening and kind of exfoliating slightly I feel it does really help my pores too. That one doesn't necessarily firm my skin But I don't really need firming at this time I like the experience of that one a little bit better than this one So I probably will not repurchase this one, but this doesn't mean that I think it's a bad serum. I I do appreciate the serum because it works, if that makes sense. So if what I said, if, if your skin type requires like what this does, this is amazing, I think. Like this might be exactly what you're looking for. You don't want anything too extreme like splenodermine because that can be, that can be harsh on my skin. It makes my skin react. 
or dermapore you don't need that much pore tightening um, and maybe you don't want like a full-on hydrating serum this does like all three of those things in one but those are not things that I necessarily like want at this point in time so that's why at this point in time I'm not like using this every day and the thing about biologic is like they say you don't have like a skin type you have a skin instant and this month you may be one particular skin instant but then next month your skin may change and you may be a different one which requires different products and I completely believe that and I've got I don't know how many serums I've got one two three four five I've got six serums right now rotating and every day I just look at my skin and I feel like hmm what does my skin need this day and then I'll go ahead and use it and then the product lasts a lot longer too like I don't I no longer put a ton of drops um, in my hand and mix them although that's nice and all um, but I don't feel like my skin needs that right now so I'm not gonna do that I hope that all made sense I hope it wasn't too ranty I hope I didn't confuse anyone I know in the past when I've been like iffy on a, a product I don't know how to describe it but I think it's because at this time my skin doesn't require what that product offers although it is a good product um, and when there is a crappy product I'll tell you so which brings me to placenta so I I mean this works for many 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 people and don't get me wrong when I have like a dark spot this does get rid of it but for some reason I I I don't think I like the serum I like it mixed in with a moisturizer um, but I for some reason don't like it straight onto my skin and I don't know why I can't I can't explain why because it's a thin texture the smell is, um, I, there are other serums that smell worse than this, but you know what it is? Um, when I was putting it all over my skin, my under eyes were um, starting to sag. That I think that's why, and it's kind of like scarred me from using the, the serum like all over my skin. But so now, I found the perfect use for it is I just mix it in with a moisturizer and I love it. And it's kept my skin clear. I haven't had any like, really bad acne since I've been doing this and that's another thing if you're like if you have a serum and you don't know how to use it because you don't like to use it on its own mix it with your moisturizer and today I'm going to be going with, with the cream dermal purifant um, this is a good cream if you've got like like acne rosacea dermatitis uh, like a bunch of different kind of skin issues if your like skin is just like really irritated um, with those things this is a good um, cream my skin I think it's a little too much for my skin at this point so mixing it in with placenta which is kind of a calming and healing um, serum has been a really nice combination I'm, I've been really enjoying the two but I probably won't repurchase either when I'm done to be honest I also want to mention that uh, placenta is very healing to the skin um, and it also like works to lighten like acne scars and stuff but oligoprotein marines also brightens the skin and I find that if that it does kind of like prevent breakouts from happening and also it kind of has the same action as this but this is more soothing if I were to need a serum heals acne scars um, it kind of exfoliates brightens I'll go with oligoprotein and not this because my skin is not very irritated anymore since I've been using all Biologique. My skin is no longer that sensitive to require like specific products like that. It just may require not using super active products. The Dermal Puri Font is recommended for oily skin. As it's recommended for all skin types, but they say it's good for oily skin too. However, I just want to mention if you use Dermo Purifont and you've got oily skin and you don't like it, don't think that all of the oily skin moisturizers are this thick. I think there's a purpose to that. I think it's supposed to help soothe the irritation that's 
um, coming from the acne and things um, because there are other creams that are not as uh, like hydrating and thick as this so don't be don't like right off the book. I have Renovator 14 here today um, I have four finishing serums in total I know that's a lot but I wanted to like compare um, I'm just gonna take maybe like three drops um, this is a very watery one um, and then I kind of just like put my hands together and then you see that and this is how I apply all my serums and I just like kind of swipe that into my cheeks and then from there I move it around with my fingers all over my skin and on the bigger parts of my face I'll go in with my palms and the crevices with my fingers so that's how I apply all my serums but I had someone ask me how I apply the serum because it's like hard to smooth out you kind of just have to like distribute the product on both and then like kind of put it on unless you're like dropping it on your face which I don't do because I find that whenever I drop it sometimes I miss my face completely so I want to compare Renovator 14 and Complex Royale finishing serums. I'll do that in a separate video um, because I mean I've been using them for a while. I really can't find a difference between the two um, to be honest. I read somewhere that um, if you have oily skin, um, breakout prone, acne prone, uh, Renovator 14 would be better because I guess it's a thinner formula. Um, well, the difference between Complex Royale and Renovator 14, I really can't tell the difference. They feel almost exactly the same, but I guess if you have acne, you might want to try this uh, Renovator 14. I'm not sure, so I'm going to do more research and um, I'll let you know. But as far as the textures go, Complex Royale and Run Over Draw 14 feel almost exactly the same. So, and they are often recommended to be used in conjunction with each other. Um, and that's great. I'm sure it gives a glow or whatever. But, um, I mean, I don't think that buying both is necessary either. So, you know, at that point, it's just a decision. I, I will try to research and do, um, to do more digging to see if there is any like real difference uh, or if it's just like a matter of preference. This is a more golden serum. The complex is a lighter, uh, more opalescent serum. But that's it this morning. Um, that's my skincare routine. I've been doing kind of a version like this every morning and night. Um, in the nighttime, I'll just switch out the um, collagen natif and then I'll probably use like Amniotique E or Elastin Pure. Um, I probably won't use, I, I normally actually don't ever use Oligo Protein Marine at night um, just because I love that serum and I'm probably, I'm like saving it for the morning when my skin needs a little brightening and like slight exfoliation. So that's that. Oh, and then another thing is Dermal Purify. Font. I'm not going to repurchase this at this time. My skin is pretty clear at this point and I've been loving the cream elastin marine um i showed you in my last haul i think uh the texture of that versus like the first tub i bought of it and the texture of the second elastin marine that i received was so creamy and smooth and it just looked amazing and it feels amazing um so hopefully the next one we buy it will be like that uh, but I've been really enjoying that one, and I will repurchase that one. Um, so that's where I stand right now. I'm also considering other moisturizers too, uh, but I need to finish this one first. It's nowhere near done, so I'm not going to be buying another like cream besides Elastin Marine for a while. So that's that. I hope you enjoyed my video. I will be back with more soon. Please comment with any questions. I love responding to them. Um, I love hearing what you guys are loving or how you guys use something or, you know, letting me know if I'm using something incorrectly. I know I'm not pressing this on, I'm swiping, but 
that's not going to change. <laughs> Let me know if you um, have other brands besides Biologique um, that you recommend because I'm kind of stuck in this Biologique love affair <laughs> and uh, my skin looks great for it but I'm interested in other brands too. Um, and I also plan to film a video on how I use Retin-A um, so hopefully that will be up soon. I know it's been a while since I posted a Biologique video so uh, thank you for being patient and thank you for watching. Please like the video if you liked it uh, and subscribe and ring the bell if you want to make sure you see my videos when they're posted. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate you.